Hello my friends, this is Mauricio again from Heavy Truck Pits. At this time I'm going to show you how to replace the battery on an NPR 2016 V8 gasoline engine. Very simple, so you can save some money, buy the battery and replace it by yourself. With this type of terminal. And you see it, you can't do it. So it's weird. Why? Because we found a terminal that is like this and the one hooks on top of this. So we'll fix it. All right. So these are the tools that we need. This is a 3.8 drive ratchet. This is a 14 millimeter and it's a 12 millimeter, 7.8 for these cups and file to improve the surface of these terminals because they just mess a little bit around because they didn't have the right tools for it. So anyway, so we gotta be fixing this in a few minutes, okay? All right. You will find the cover and the straps or the lacks on the side. So you just lift with the finger and will pop out one and two. Then you remove the, the lid, the cover, and you will find what I was talking to you about it. It's a two different terminals. So this is the regular terminal for cars small vehicles and this is a heavy duty truck terminal so the customer said I don't know what to do please help me and I don't know how to remove the battery holder it's a weird setup because the, the nuts you can see here is weld into this piece of metal look at it so we don't know and on this side is a hook. So that hook is gotta be a hook, but this shaft gotta move. And this shaft is like ferro. So we will find out right now what's going on. Okay. See the weld points of the nut welding dots. Yep. All right, so we install the 12 millimeter socket into the 3.8 ratchet. We put it as loosing, just like this. And I hook the nut. See, you, it was hard to find that it was an insert the hook is an insert, so it's not this part, it's completely separate. See? This goes here, this line up here. See the hook? See the hook? And this is the bolt, goes through. So when you pull this out, you leave this guy free. There's a nut in the back too, but it was missing. But it goes in the back of top of it. See what I mean? One terminal is different than the other one. We'll fix that. Look how strange is this nut. It goes here on the side. Strange. It's a nut weld into a piece of metal bracket and it turns completely. Okay, so don't be afraid to put the wrench on it. It goes here. 
okay? So now, as a rule, always in your life, when you're gonna replace a battery, remove the negative pole first. That's the main rule. This is the first one and the last one to be hooked up, to be safe, not to touch, because the ground is completely isolated. Even if you touch this one and the ground, and there's no ground. All right, so let's do this. You hook up the uh, the wrench. <clears throat> kind of hard. This is the front. Okay, my friends, so this is what we got now. So I'm gonna bring my friend. He doesn't mess around. Okay, let's see what happens. All right, my friends, so we're back. I was looking for something else to, to fix this because I've been turning this around and it doesn't work. It like seized. So this uh, nut, it's like a cup. It's just seized and it's turning all the entire bolt. So we have to get rid of that. So we're gonna cut here. All right, so I hook this terminal so there's no ground at all on the car, on the truck, okay? That's where the, uh, see the bolt here. I'll show you. See the bolt here, right here. There's a bolt here attached to the ground here. So it's completely loose. So that's how you can now do the, I mean, remove the positive. See, now, man, there's no, no way to be a, have a short circuit, no sparks, nothing. So we're gonna cut this, this guy here, and we're gonna install the new terminal. All right, Schumacher brand name. Let's see what happens. Yep. Okay, so to remove bracket. We will need now a tool to cut this wire so we can replace the terminal and put everything back into the truck. Open. 
team. Come on, it's done for you. Good, so you're gonna stick. Wire. Two, two. And you're gonna make it like turning. Open a little bit more. It's too tight. And I mean, easy. Ooh, perfect. This is it. It's just, you know, equal. Here, here, here. Perfect, super tight, really good. I like it, I really do. So let's move into step. Step is install. This is positive. Okay. Okay. All right. This is the positive. This is a positive pole. So you have to make sure that the deep will match. Mark here. Okay. Right there, which is same height. So the it will be all the way in. Okay, this positive, positive. You gotta screw this in as much as we can. And we're using tool to tie this up. You know where's the, the end. You will know where's the end. Then we have to put the negative. All right. So this is the ne negative. So it's like a nut goes on top of the uh, this type of battery. So it's gonna be like this. Come on here. Just put this in. Very finish with the other one. Yeah. Okay. Just be careful. Don't touch the, this this uh, pole. Okay. So then you have a, a plastic. In spray, it's plastic. On top of the positive pole while you're tying up this negative, it's like, like a, it's a big nut, and on top of it is it replaced the terminal. You will feel the end. You feel when this one ends, and that's it. Now, going back to the truck. We're gonna be installing back the uh, negative cable goes to the chassis here. You can see the bolt. Yeah. So we're gonna be installing that right now. I put this battery pole first. We gotta get this open. It's really tight. So I bring a flat screwdriver. What we're gonna do here is gonna grab this one Install this. Oh. Install the negative. And that's it. Everything's good. So, this. Line it up. So 
the weird song of the nut. Remember? It's like a weird welt. This nut is being weld into the piece of metal. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start. Start with my hand. That's how you do it. Make sure everything's fine soft. Thank you very much again. All right, this is Mauricio Neri. I hope this can be helpful for you. This is what we cut. We change bones. We resecure the negative, and that's it. Thank you. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.